Hi guys, so I sent a new toy to play with this week and it's this, the King Room KLP1 3D printer and as you can see, um, yeah, it's a gorgeous looking thing now normally, I normally obviously play with resin printers uh, but this one, I'll have to admit, it does look rather nice um, I've had a few of these before and normally they sort of like big boxy weird looking things um, but this one's encased, which looks just awesome and obviously you've got a bit of a glowy thing down the bottom and the other good thing with this one is it's got a little touch screen uh, which is really nice um, and yeah it looks really really cool didn't take uh, too long to sort of set up there's just a few little screws you need to sort of well screw in so just to mention this video is being sponsored by King Rune but as always guys um, I'm never told what to say I literally get sent something and then yeah take it out of the box uh, assemble it where needed and then yeah, have a little play with it uh, and see what it can be done but uh, say so yeah this one is it's a, it's a lovely looking machine um, but the one neat feature about this one is its speed um, as I say I've had a few of these before in the past uh, don't generally use them and one of the main reasons I don't use these is because they are obviously a lot slower than resin printers uh, but this one <laughs> this one is fast Obviously, guys, I have speeded this up something rotten. Um, but yeah, it printed out this little boat. Uh, it has got a name, but I always forget what it's called. Uh, 19 minutes, which is pretty insane. As due to its height, uh, yeah, you're probably looking at a good sort of couple of hours on a resin printer. Uh, and so this is where I normally don't use these printers because of the speed. But uh, yeah, this King Room KLP1, um, yeah, it's nuts. Uh, and obviously the quality, yeah, it's come out fine, which is pretty cool. So obviously this is one that comes with the machine as obviously a test print. Uh, but I wanted to have a go at printing something that, uh, well, something that I normally use. Uh, and that's obviously I've got some like paint holders, um, paint palettes, uh, and obviously little sort of paint things that I put my miniatures on. So I thought I'd have a go at printing out some of these things that I actually sort of use uh, and some files that I've made up. Uh, and again, I put these on the fastest mode there is. Um, and I say, honestly, guys, <laughs> if you've never had one of these before, these are normally pretty slow machines. As in, I'm talking, you can put something in uh, and you're looking at, I don't know, anything up to like a day, maybe even two. Uh, no exaggeration, it can take hours and hours and hours to print things off. Uh, but yeah, clearly they're getting much faster. And the end result, result is just awesome. So I have got this on a very sort of uh, low quality one as well though guys. Obviously that helps with the speed. Um, so yeah, you will notice obviously the uh, well the build lines I guess. So the other good thing with this machine is it comes auto leveled. Uh, which is, again is the other reason why I never used to like using these things. Because it was a palaver leveling them. Uh, but this one, yeah, this one turns up auto leveled. And I say I just put the side glass sheets on. Um, and yet it set it printing off and as I say it's come out great so again obviously the quality of these um, I have printed these out at a low quality because again I want to print them out nice and fast uh, but yeah for what I need it for it's it's perfect and I say this again these were about sort of I think it was about 12 minutes for this thing which was just yeah nuts so this resin one beside it um, I can't remember the exact time but you're looking at, at least two three hours um, and yeah, I say even though this was low quality, it is super strong, so it's not going to come apart. And yeah, it will do the job just perfectly. So the other thing I do like about filament uh, printers, so I don't normally use them because obviously I like to print out miniatures and bits and pieces, so it's definitely more a terrain piece. Uh, but yeah, the other problem with resin ones is they warp. So as I say, this tile, um, about six months old, uh, but as you can see, it is started warping badly. But the, uh, the filament one, um, yeah, no warping whatsoever. So for tiles, I have to admit, using the filament printer is definitely the better way to go. Um, and I say, especially with this KLP one and the fact that it prints so quick. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be using this for my next Kill Team board. Which I will be making pretty soon as, well, I kind of get bored of, well, the board that I have. So the software used is Ultimaker uh, Cura. Uh, real easy software to use which is great because I don't do technical stuff guys and I'm sure you're all aware I don't know technical terms and jargon and all that stuff I like to keep things simple and yeah this software certainly is that so you can see I just drag and drop the item that I want to print into it it's got the usual sort of features where you can resize things move things around 
which is really good. Obviously, my main thing that I always do is resize really things. Um, yeah, because obviously you can make things whatever size you need, which is just awesome. And obviously over this side you've got all the other sort of technical bits on the uh, layer height and sizes and bits and pieces. Uh, but the only one I really messed about here, uh, and that's the speed. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the normal speed is, but 500 is, well, it's kind of super fast. Um, and I say, the fact that I could print these things out in sort of 12 minutes, 19 minutes, as opposed to the last time I used one of these uh, filament printers. Um, and yeah, it was like seven hours for, well, something really simple. Um, which is just crazy. So yeah, this thing is definitely going to get a lot more more use, which is great. So I printed out the texture dry brush palette, and yeah, as you can see, it's come out great. Again, though, guys, um, I've got this on a very low setting, so obviously you can get a much finer looking detail. Uh, but as this is a texture dry brush palette, um, yeah, the more texture on there, the uh, the better. Uh, but again, these things print out thin, but they are so strong. And I know it won't warp like the uh, the resin printed ones. So there is a link in the description, guys, to where you can obviously see more details about this printer. As well as obviously the costs and all that kind of uh, good stuff. Uh, but say, so, yeah, I don't really go obviously into uh, what things can do because, well, in my eyes, if it works, it works great. I just want to push a few buttons and make things run. Uh, but yeah, for all those technical people who want to know all the specifications, well, yeah, everything obviously can be found on their, uh, their website. But say for me, this is the main bit that gets me, is just the speed. Um, I say 3 hours 40 minutes, you might think, oh that's a long time. Uh, but trust me guys, when I've printed things in the past, sometimes it's come up and it's told me it's going to be 19 hours of printing. So yeah, the fact that this, can, this thing can print things in, well, similar times, if not better times than resin ones. Uh, yeah, definitely means to say, I will be using this printer maybe as much as uh, my resin ones certainly for terrain and bits anyway but uh, yeah berserk mode um, yeah love it and the quality is really good too um, I don't know how well you can see it on the picture but this boat is yeah it's super smooth obviously you can see a few layer lines at the top um, but yeah the settings on that are obviously perfect unlike mine um, yeah as we know guys I'm not very technically minded I just mess about with some settings print something out but the main thing is these have come out and they are useful um, very usable and oh, the texture dry brush palette I have been using in a few videos that I've well yet for you guys to see but I've been making a few videos and yeah it works perfectly so yeah awesome stuff so guys don't forget to check out the uh, link down below uh, to have a look at more sort of details about the King Rune KLP1 as yeah I think it's a great little printer it looks good it works well and I say it has berserk mode so it can print things out extremely quick so I just want to thank King Rune for sponsoring this video, as well as all my lovely patrons, Chaos Cards and A Colour Forge for helping support the channel each month, it really does mean so much to me. There's another video on the screen guys, give that a click, see more of what I do. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that cool stuff. You guys all take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.